Hello and welcome or welcome back to Neuropa City Zoo. So in today's episode, I think we're just gonna we're gonna start off with a little bit of general management, uh, take a look at our animals and make sure that you know we don't have any problems to deal with there. Oh wow. Alright, we're starting off head in in the rocks. Okay, well anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we're just <laughs> there we go. That's better. So <laughs> we're gonna start off with some animal management and just kind of general management of our zoo. And then the main part of today's episode we are going to be beautifying our park. So I'm gonna we have a whole bunch of signage uh, that we've never done that I really want to do. Um, some dead space here and there that really needs to be filled up and lighting and all of that good stuff. Not so much in the habitats. I think I'm going to kind of ignore. I think most of our habitats are okay for now. Um, it's mostly going to be, you know, the guest areas and all of that. Um, but the other big task that we're going to ta tackle today is decorating our zoo up for Christmas. So let's just get right into it. So first things first, our jaguar male has passed away. So he made it all the way to the ripe age of 20 years old um, and died of old age, it looks like. So let's just make sure the vet is coming to pick him up. And let's take a look at who else we still have in this habitat. Um, yes, so we do still have our f original female jaguar. And she is oh, in a weird, really weird position right now. There we go. I don't know why the animals are clipping through things so much right now. Um, but anyway, she... let's take a look. Uh, she is also 20.1 years old, so I have a feeling that she's actually probably right behind him. Like, her longevity is also not very good. Um, so my guess is that we're gonna let this play for a little while and she is also going to pass away. Um, we have... who else do we have in here? Um, okay, we have two cubs in here. A male cub and a female cub. Who I believe... they might also be maturing pretty soon anyway. Yeah, fairly soon. And it looks like we haven't actually looked at them compared to our other jaguars yet either to figure out who we are going to keep. But maybe we will do that in a little bit. Let's take a look. So we have... this one versus this one. Well, I mean... The size, that size gene is a little bit low, but their longevity is quite a bit better than their parents, so that's nice. But yeah, our female is definitely a little bit better than our male. So for now, let's just mark him as trade. And then, if we take a look at... we might, I think we have one jaguar in the trade center, in our storage center as well, so... Let's take a look at her, try to remember what that looks like, <laughs> because we can only do this one way or the other way. We cannot see... actually, maybe we can see both at the same time. Let's look into our animal storage. Yeah, so right now we have another female up as our keeper, and they are the exact same stats, so... Yeah, they are literally the exact same, so it doesn't really matter which one of them we keep and which one we trade. Uh, she is 3.2 years, I'm guessing she's also gonna be 3.2 years when we trade her off. Let's just keep the original one, we'll trade off this one. So that means what we can do here is, as soon as this female jaguar we have here passes away, we can bring in that one that we have in the trade center. Uh, maybe I'll keep an eye out now for a mate for her. We'll, we'll take a look into the animal uh, market and, and see, keep an eye on it, see if I can find a good mate for her. And then, yeah, as soon as this jaguar passes away, we will just bring them both in, and um, once these cubs grow up, we'll, we'll take them out as necessary.
All right, and last but not least, let's just take a quick little tour through our zoo here. It just got dark enough, the lights turned on, so I want to do it. Um, I want to do it now so we can see some of those Christmas lights. And I love, oh, look at that beautiful sky while we're doing it as well. <laughs> All right, so let's just carry on through here. Some of our decorations obviously uh, do look better in the light, um, like all these garland and stuff, but just to kind of take a look around, look at that entrance. I love those all the way through here and we can see our Christmas trees which get back down to guest height here a whole bunch of decorated trees through here our snowmen <laughs> very cute a little thank you sign for guests when they are leaving um I should probably light this up a bit the lighting in general in this zoo I do still want to work on but for now I think I'll just focus on the Christmas stuff today I'm not going to go around the other side, it's pretty much the same, but we turn this corner here and there's another cute little display for there, a few other trees here, and then we've got this fun little snowflake wall lit up here with the big Christmas tree. I like these little reindeer, I think they're so cute. And into the catwalk, we have this area lit up like crazy with these, all these uh, stars here. All those decorations and come in here and we've got some I actually think I'm probably gonna leave these permanently I love that um, the lighting around the pillars I think that's super cute um, kind of similar here just uh, I don't know keeping it still fairly minimal but now onto our elephants I put the bows on the railings here and just a few kind of light features on these little shelters here Nothing too exciting, but you can see the giant Christmas tree from everywhere around on this area here. And as we go down to our building over here, we've got one more little display in the corner, a little polar bear display, and string some lights up here. And we've got all of these cool lights in here as well. So we walk into here and it's just this magical, oops, very magical lit place now. I love it in here. I think this looks so cool. It's still dark in here, which is kind of the idea, but it looks like kind of a, I don't know, like a wintry, dark wintry escape. I think it looks so cool now with all the lights in here. Could probably do with some lights in these uh, wreaths as well, um, or garlands, sorry, as well. 
it's kind of, I don't know, I find it a little bit hard to see, but I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. But yeah, that is probably gonna be pretty much it for Christmas decorating, I, or holiday decorating. I just wanted to make it a little bit more festive uh, as we play throughout the rest of this month. Just kind of, I don't know, I love it. I, I love the decorations and I love the lights this time of year. I, I think everything is just, I don't know, it's just so beautiful. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, let me know in the comment section below any tips or suggestions or anything that you would like in the like to let me know in the comment section below and I will talk to you in the next episode.